Welcome, nerds, to the comic books and book news for the week. Uh, this is where we talk about all things comic books and literature related. So if there's a new book coming out, we're not going to get into individual arcs necessarily, unless there's some sort of like major publisher-wide effects that are going to be related to said arc. We don't really get into individual arcs or individual issues. We just talk about the broader news at large. So without any further ado, let's talk about some comic books and possibly some books as well. So next up is comic books and books. Uh, we have Marvel and DC both announcing the return of characters that have been a little lacking for some time, or a little missing, I guess is probably more appropriate. Uh, and that's about it. We, Captain America is also coming back for a different run, but that's more the author is the big thing there and not exactly the character because Captain America never went away. So let's start at the front. We have no confirmation reputations. We have no trailers. We have just regular ass news. Uh, so Birds of Prey is the first one. DC has confirmed that Cassandra Kane will be joining the new Birds of Prey. Uh, also, obviously, for those that don't know, Cassandra Kane previously has been uh, has been known by the alias of Orphan as well as Batgirl. So, uh, in this new book, she will be joining Black Canary, Huntress, and Renee Montoya on the new Birds of Prey team. Uh, it will be written by Gail Simone and illustrated by Nicola Scott. Scheduled to de de debut, bleh, first day, new tongue, sorry. It will be scheduled to debut this July, so we are about a month away from seeing the new Birds of Prey. No specific date just yet as for issue number one, but it will happen in July. Probably first week of July, I would imagine. Comic Book Day is Wednesday. I can't remember when new comic books drop right now. Brain fart, sorry. But yeah, whenever the first, the, the first week of July comic book launch day tuesday wednesday one of the two uh from there it's wednesday <laughs> from there we have superior spider-man also being announced uh marvel has announced that uh superior spider-man series is going to happen this fall a brand new and it's going to be written by dan slot so he's not leaving spider-man altogether just leaving the main book um will feature obviously superior spider-man is dr ock as spider-man uh, Slot says that he is going to be taking the series in a bold new direction for the character of Superior Spider-Man. What exactly that means, only Dan Slot really knows right now, so very intrigued by that. And not, I mean, the Slot stuff on the mainline Spider-Man was not terrible, so intrigued for sure. Moving on. Uh, our final piece has to do with Captain America. Uh, so they're bringing back J. Michael Straczynski to write a new Cap book. Uh, in a similar vein to the Spider-Man book, uh, we have Straczynski saying he's going to plunge Steve Rogers into a shadowy plot with a sinister foe at its core. So again, kind of alluding to a darker, different experience for Cap, but Cap's been through a lot through the years, so I don't know. It is set to launch in September with art from Jesus Saez, uh, and yeah, that's kind of all we got there. So that's what we got for the section. Let's talk about comic books and books suggestion. Your suggestion this week is a classic, one that we've honestly done, I think, once before, maybe twice. Uh, for comic book suggestion, it's The Watchmen, Alan Moore's classic story, the repurposing of the uh, Golden Age characters, if I'm remembering correctly, uh, is, is just the... It's, it was written in the 80s, but man, it is just as relevant in a lot of different ways today as it was when it originally came out. So absolutely worth your time. If you've never read The Watchmen, now is a chance. If you haven't read it for a while, definitely return to this one because there is, it's, it's pretty solid. I, I, there's no other way to put that. Just Alan Moore is great. Let's go on. Once again, nerds, this is just the comic books and books section from the Week in Nerddom, which is the much longer video that gets posted over on the main channel, youtube.com slash generally nerdy or at generally nerdy, however you got to find it. That's the main channel. You get the entire, usually around about an hour long video there uh, that goes into other topics as well, TV, movies, rumors, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, go check that out. Before we leave you, though, always, always remember that if it's generally nerdy, it's probably here.